Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Adala. I'm bringing you another Microsoft Flight Simulator video today. We are in uh, the uh, newly released uh, Bell 407 helicopter uh, in the newest uh, 40th, 40th anniversary edition uh, update which introduced this and another helicopter, the uh, Capri G2. And uh, right now I'm uh, starting basically a new series of videos with this one uh, that I'm calling the World Helipad Tour. Um, this is going to be the first episode and uh, essentially all I'm going to do is uh, uh, explore the different helipads and whether they be native helipads or add-on scenery and we're going to explore them um, probably just about one at a time. If it's a very short uh, trip I might do more than one uh, but generally it'll be one per video and uh, yeah hope uh, we discover some really amazing locations together uh, that uh, you may want to go and check out on your own as well so uh, this first one that I picked is uh, the Isles of Chile I think that's how you say it I didn't even know that th these um, uh, islands uh, existed uh, until recently um, <coughs> and that's, I guess, one of the benefits that's going to be of, of Flight Simulator and these um, um, videos. And, um, yeah, so we're on the Isle of Tresco here. And I'm going to get uh, things started up here uh, so that we can get going. Uh, let's see here. Uh, what am I looking for? Uh, the booster pumps. Lights. Okay. The one thing I really d dislike about the Bell 407 is this really ugly um, lighting for the instruments, which is a bright green. And so, um, yeah, I uh, basically. It's the first one of the first things that I do is I, I get rid of that. So I uh, yeah I think it's uh, bright in the morning, uh, early in the morning here on Tresco, and this is one of the add-on sceneries, um, which is the helicopter um, <coughs> or helipad or location on the Isle of Tresco, and you can see that there's two helicopters here. There's a very short uh, grass strip here <laughs> that uh, I guess people can try to land on. Sorry, we're missing the best part about helicopters here. <laughs> Let me get back here. Anyways, um, yeah. So let's uh, let's go and look real quick. So <coughs> yeah, here's a grass st strip, and this is really where uh, passengers load onto the helicopters in this area and uh, here we can see there's some passengers waiting to, to board um, right here, very lovely lady waiting to get on her helicopter and uh, yeah it seems very uh, well modeled and a great great location so yeah we'll take off um, instead of me using this camera and uh, we'll go explore and um, there's two lighthouses um, of which one has a uh, helicopter pad on it so what we'll do is we'll go check them out So let's get this thing the other pet fee you have the vo the, about the 407 is when you go to increase the throttle there's absolutely no sound change I don't know if that's normal every single other helicopter that I've flown on uh, this sim or in DCS, uh, you definitely see a change there. When, <coughs> but anyways, let's uh, get going here. Um, you know, and going from the cabri to the um, bell, I always forget which way <laughs> the rotor is turning. But uh, yeah, let's go check out these. Uh, what are the Augusta Westlands? Oh my God! Look at that. That is spectacular. 
I do have DirectX uh, 12 turned on, the beta. I don't know if I should. I feel like it, it is messing up um, the. Um, it's not as good as TAA for me right now, I don't think. Maybe I'll switch it back. Forgot to switch it back, so. But, anyways, if we go. Oh, look at that sun. Freaking amazing. So, yeah, let's go find this. Uh, <coughs> something island. Um, uh, lighthouse. I think I set my trim, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember if I set my trim, I probably should have. Oh well. Oh no, I remember now. I didn't, so that's going to be a bit of a pain, but... Look at that, gorgeous. How am I trying to drift to the right a bit? But, uh... <coughs> I wonder if I can turn on my map because I don't really know where I am. Where is it? Is it on the map? Wait, balance, weather. No map. What is this? Oh, did that just break something? Initializing system. Hmm. What, what happened to the BFR map? Oh, we're totally going the wrong direction, I think. Yep, uh, you see there is uh, on the map there, Well, I guess we are, we can check out this island while we're here, but uh, I want to go to that uh, where there's that purple landing thing. That's where the uh, <coughs> that light lighthouse is that has a helipad on top of it. Yeah, beautiful little islands. And uh, one of the great things about Microsoft Flight Simulator is that it teaches you geography. And it, it makes you explore places like no other, nothing else. Um, you know, places that you either have visited and haven't quite seen from above, or um, <coughs> ones where you've never been, like like these islands. That look at a boat. It's very nice. Um, so yeah, let me try. Let me try to put. Can I put this thing? Oh man. Can I not move this thing? Oh well. I guess there is a map down there, but you know. Let's get a bit lower and it So the mods that I have here is um, the islands mod. They're all from flightsim.to. I guess I'll link them in the description here. Yeah. <laughs> if I get a chance, um, but one of the mods is the uh, Isles of Chile 
um, shorelines and it really improves all the shorelines to make them a lot more beautiful um, and this thing is really annoying so I am going to turn this thing off so that we can actually see oh look at that oh there's a the lighthouse I see it So yeah, the the mod, uh, you know, improves all the shoreline, so you get to see all the rocks and all the beautiful colors, um, as well as adding that heliport. Uh, so yeah, it's a couple of those mods. So yeah, this is what we're going to be doing in the series. We're going to be exploring, doing a little bit of exploration. What is this? News. Okay. Oh no! Yeah, this is not the one I was thinking about. There's another lighthouse that has a helipad, like you know, there's a helipad on this one. here oh there it is nice lovely little helipad here by the lighthouse the other lighthouse actually has it on top of the lighthouse and it's like that's the bishop one the bishop lighthouse oh man I'm messing up this approach Sorry guys, I not really my best approach here. Journal. Now oh, look at that. Beautiful, huh? I should I use that as my thumbnail? Probably. It's very nice. Give me, give me a bit closer. All right. So yeah, there we are. Landed. We can uh, check this thing out. Sorry about the uh, track IR, what I'm trying to do is reduce a bit. Oh, that really reduced a lot. Yeah, so there's the lighthouse. Very cool, very cool. So. Yeah, over there is the Isle of Trello, so let's take off again. Oh god. Man, I'm flying this thing rough today.
that sun is just spectacular. I don't know what it is that I put that I did in these settings, but it's freaking amazing. And I really need to set the trim on my next video because this is pretty crazy. What is this? This little house? Oh this guy's living the dream. at this. What is this? Very cool. Very lovely place. This is just to the southwest of England. I guess I'll do a little Google map intro. Um, I think this is Tresco. It is. I'm guessing a lot of British people come here to uh, enjoy some boating, some beaches. Imagine the weather is a bit nicer because it's further south. Quite barren. And a lot of these towns, so, and I think this is the, uh, is this where the uh, uh, airport is? So yeah, a lot of these towns might have like a little tiny roads. But, um, Yeah, the only way to get from here to the main, uh, oh, look at that, to the main um, <coughs> island is by helicopter. Very cool. Uh, sorry, I gotta pull the map up again because I have again no idea where I am. I guess I decided to put it to the left this time. Okay, uh, so we want to head. Man, that lighthouse, where is it? I think it's there to the southeast somewhere. I imagine that lighthouse is. Um, the very south of those islands. I guess while we're here, let's let's just go through this island. Uh, the the let's like, go island hopping. Let's go check out the main island. And then we'll head to southwest there. Just can I increase the collective just a bit to get a bit more speed? Yeah, there's definitely an airport that I'm heading towards. Yeah, you can see it from the distance here. Lots of sailboats. A little cruise ship in the distance. There's a little bay. So this is the main island. Um, St. Mary's, I think it's called. Lots of little ships. A little town. A little port. Very nice. And here's the airport. Let's go check it out. Oh, I gotta love that sun reflection. Can't get enough of it. A 360 over the airport. Oh, it's like on a, it's on a hill. Look at that. I oh, like little tennis courts. Yeah, the airport is on a hill. Are you kidding me? Like, look at that. It's not straight. Very cool, very 
nice little airport. I love it. Very, very cool. Very, uh, very small island. Seems very peaceful. Far away from the world's problems, huh? So yeah, I did. I did read very briefly on Wiki about it that uh, the fact that it's actually a, um, its own little government here. Sailboat. Look at this thing. How's this? Wow. Look at that. It's like we're in the eighteen hundreds. So cool. Very, very cool. Alright, let's look for that lighthouse. Where are you? It's gotta be like at the very far end of these uh, islands. So yeah, that, that, I think that was St. Mary's. Um, I think there's St. Mary's and St. Anthony. I'm sorry guys, uh, sorry for... should have researched it a bit more, but... The main island there with the airport. Uh, so all these other islands are not very populated. So I imagine they might be really good for... Boating and such. And as you can see... That's exactly what people are doing. Wow. Very nice. Very, very nice. Where is it? That lighthouse. Oh, look at that. I missed it. Not the lighthouse, I don't know what that thing is. Might have to do a little zooming in here. Um, shortly. I did see it on the map before. Oh, wait, I see something in the very distance. Let's zoom in. Oh, I see it. I see a lighthouse, folks. Way out there. I'm gonna keep following these, uh... I, d I can see why they put a lighthouse there. 
Uh, probably don't want to sail a ship through here. Anyways, let's head for the lighthouse. Where's my altimeter? The one on the top right there, I'm pretty sure. Shall we zoom in? 350 feet. Okay, so it is the one on the top right. So I think we're okay. As long as that needle doesn't go to the 12 o'clock position, I think we should be fine. And we are 200 feet now. <laughs> Let's not push it before, let's not die before we get to the lighthouse, huh? figure. I guess I don't need this thing anymore. How tall you guys figure this lighthouse is? Well, it's definitely not 400 feet. Shall we fly around it for a second before landing? Probably, huh? Is that a bird? Cool. What a nice little lighthouse. Can you climb? Now you can do it. Can't look at a bird. Okay. Not super easy. Freaking helicopter flying. forward, just a bit forward. Alright, drop it, drop it, drop it. Ugh, boom. Wow, nailed it. I think these birds, uh, some of them don't look very movie. But damn, that looks cool. That looks very cool. Think. Will this get you guys to uh, come view? I think so. I think that wins. Most definitely. So yeah. This is the Isles of Chile and uh, the Bishop Lighthouse right here. And I think the other one was called Something Island. Uh, a great place to come and explore and lots of little helipads. So yeah, definitely, definitely love it. Very great start to the series. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. 
and uh, we shall see you. <laughs> Screenshot. <laughs> Bishop Rock. There you go. It's called, it says it on there. Um, we shall see you in the next one. We'll uh, try to find another good one for you guys. Uh, yeah, hopefully, if you guys enjoyed, please uh, support me by subscribing and liking the video. Uh, and uh, yeah, show up. Uh, come join me on the next one, on the episode 2 here. Thanks everyone. Have a good one.